You know, it's already November. No, it's, it's September. What are you talking about? We've gone through pretty much all the school events now, so that frees you up for studying. It'll be getting colder from now on, so wrap up warm and don't get sick. I mean it. If you think you've got a fever, then go see the nurse. Oh, speaking of the nurse's office, Dr. Maruki's going to be leaving us on the 18th. If you need to talk to him, now's the time. He was kind of a quiet guy, but it was nice having him around. It'll be kind of sad to see him go. So, so if you helped any, if he helped any of you feel better, make sure you thank him before he's gone. Anyway, time to start class. <sighs> Man, time really flies. A whole year has gone by already. Were we at rank nine with him? I feel like we were somewhere around there. Was school always like this? Don't it feel kind of different than usual? Do you think? I'm getting a weird feeling too. What do you mean? It's like the people around us seem restless or something. Pretty unsettling, right? Something's different. Hmm? Is it just me that thinks nothing has changed? Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Makoto? Someone ask? Someone ask for me? Everything's normal over here! Girl, you're at home! We most certainly did not ask for you. Is Makoto sick today? Sorry, I only just noticed the chat right now. I think everyone's just agitated, agitated by the Phantom Thief's rumors. Try not to be affected by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these. I am nine with him? Okay. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to go to the courthouse, right? Let's move! So he is leaving on the 18th, so we still have plenty of time for that. So this is what the courtroom is like. Just being here causes my body to tense up. I'm shocked that Nijima-san can think of somewhere this solemn as a casino. So Makoto says is that lady who's overflowing with the aura of a capable woman. Mm-hmm. By the way, what's this trial about? A politician who decided to make personal use of government funds? I read about that in a magazine! He went on a vacation with his mistress to some fancy hot springs. Aren't politicians supposed to be loaded? Why'd he mess with our tax money? <laughs> that sounds like heaven. Okay, Joker, get back on track here. That's just how they are, I guess. Playing with other people's cash is a total no-go. This may sound odd, but isn't Nijima-san supposed to be busy with our investigation? Does she really have time to be coming to a trial like this? Supposedly, she was on this case before being assigned to the Phantom Thieves. Normally, another prosecutor would take her place, but... Sai-san can be a bit of a perfectionist. Hey, how are we gonna get Nijima-san to notice us? Did you tell her we'd be coming? I don't think she read the message, though. Do we have a backup plan? Not exactly. But I'm sure she'll notice us eventually. Hi! Hmm? I noticed a lot of students here, but is that a Kechikun? And Makoto? Now that I think about it, there was a message about her coming. That doesn't matter for now. See? It's almost time to begin. All right. Nijima can see now that we're allowed in the courtroom. This should let us enter that high limit thingamajig. Let's head over to her palace once the trial's over. Stay in the bag, damn it! <laughs> Get back in your bag, kitty. Okay, to the high limit floor. That was blocking her path's gone now. 
So this is what cognitive control looks like. You're gonna have a heart attack if you keep getting surprised like that. <laughs> Honestly, though, this is all somewhat hard to believe. Look, there is a counter up ahead. Shall we head there first? I suppose there would be no issue in stopping by. Let us go. I shall read them. This is a series of one-on-one -on -one fair fights in which your skills are all you can rely on. Well, there you have it. <laughs> so it's like the whole challenger approaching thing in Super Smash Brothers! You fight whoever shows up! I suppose a criminal trial is like a battle of sorts. This may be a bit more refreshing, though. Hmm, I'm curious as to what's waiting for us inside here. Let's check it out when you're ready. Are these the rules? Um, the House of Darkness? Let's see what it says. In this game, you will attempt to escape a pitch black maze. You are free to quit at any point and start over. The, game's end the game ends when you reach the finish. Huh? Wait, that's it? That was until a shit, except for the, um, there's a maze and it's dark. I suppose we'll have to go in and find out for ourselves what it is all about. Okay, so we have a maze? And we have a battle arena. Do you have a minute? We need information on this floor. Let's go to the counter first. We might even be able to get some coins there. There's a counter. I missed that. Where's that at? Huh. Victory or defeat. I pick victory. Welcome to the high limit floor, a proverbial gambling paradise. First off, we would like to extend a welcome gift to you. Yes! Awesome! They're giving us coins this time, too! Just a thousand, though. At least give us... Give each person that much cheapskate. I'm sorry, but the welcome gift can only be applied once per card. Furthermore, this is the map for the high limit floor. Okay, show us your prizes now. We want to exchange our coins for a member's card. <laughs> we do have prizes, but that is unfortunately not one of them. How do you mean? What? Then how are we supposed to get to the manager's floor? I assure you, there is no need for a cart. Please head over there. This sounds suspicious. Well, we cannot proceed unless we check it out. Why don't we head over there for the time being? Good point, Akechi. Good point. We'll see this tricky. Okay. Keep my eyes peeled. Hey, look at this. Hey, Joker. Why don't you Oh, got a new weapon? Okay. All right. Isn't that Hmm, a scale or is it a bridge? Maybe it's a scale-shaped bridge? There's an area over on the other side, too. That could lead to the manager's floor. Mm. Yes. There can be no doubt. We'll need to lower the bridge to cross. But how do we do that? Hmm. How oh, indeed. Let us try investigating around here. Looks like we have to lower and rotate the bridge. in there or something? Authenticating members card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. Huh? What? We need 100,000 coins just to cross over there? It's getting clearer that she has no intention of letting us proceed onward. I don't believe there is any need for pessimism, though. What? But think about how much that is! We were desperate just to get our hands on 50,000! But we still obtained them in the end. We can succeed if we do that again, then double our total. I suppose this is the high limit floor. 
Indeed, there must be a high risk. High return game somewhere here. Though, we'll need to win, too. Our first order of business should be to see what kind of games exist on this floor. Alright, what should we do first? I think... I'm thinking the Battle Arena. Or is this the maze? Oh, this is the maze. Of course it is. Welcome to the House of Darkness. Yes, exactly where I wanted to be. Thank you. Our puzzling labyrinth in the dark. What was that? You better not be looking for a fight. We ain't interested. That won't be necessary. You are valuable participants, after all. Participants? Most certainly. The original intent behind the high limit floor is different from that of others. On this floor, VIPs are encouraged to send substitutes to complete, compete in the games in their place. Consider it to be like the horses in horse racing. However, it seems you have no substitutes. Of course we don't. That should be obvious. Indeed it is. Hence, you'll be the vital participants in these games. Hmm. So we basically need to be our own substitutes. Eh, sounds perfect to me. That's way better than spectating. Splendid! Now allow me to explain the rules. A straightforward maze lies directly ahead of you. Hey, you know, what's up? I suggest you exercise utmost caution within as the lightning is, lighting is dimmed quite heavily. Your entry fee into this maze will be 1,000 points, but if you can manage to reach the goal, you will obtain 10 times that amount. 10,000 coins? Just for completing a maze? It is no wonder they call this the high limit floor. I doubt the maze will be as simple as it sounds. Let's start, I guess. One more thing. You're free to head backward in the maze or even leave the room if you so choose. Well then, please enjoy. The effects of cognition are low here. Okay. Alright. Let's see what this maze of darkness is all about. It is quite dark. God damn, it's so freaking dark. This is definitely not a little. We've been tricked. I'm sensing shadows too. Very simple, my ass. If we do not ascertain the layout and placement of the enemies, we will surely find ourselves in danger. I just hope there is an adequate way of doing so. Hmm. The map isn't going to help. Either, but I do hear something. What are these people doing here? They're lost. They're lost in the maze. Hmm? Oh, I can feel some breeze coming through here. What do you say? You want to head inside? I hope nobody finds us and disqualifies us for breaking the rules. Good idea. We may have to use it in the end, but for now, let us simply remember it is here. But Somewhere. No. But I thought. I thought that was the only way to go. Oh, there's a door here. I didn't see the door. The, but this it's has locked. To be a joke. Huh? It's not opening? Odd. That duct excluded. The path here from the entrance was quite direct. So the participants are trapped in here to fall victims to the shadows? It seems they have no intention of letting us proceed further. <laughs> They're cheating, damn it! Fine. Things are different now. We'll make it to the goal, even if we have to use that secret passage. Focus. See? What did I tell ya? <laughs> Perhaps we should have gone through this... gone through with it in the first place. Oh well, such is life. Such is life. There's another little passage. We should check that out first, I think. I think this is that chest I was hearing before. Yeah, this definitely is. Okay, 
Definitely hear something over there. I think I went in a circle. Yeah, I definitely did. so good, I think. What's up here? It's somewhere. Who's the best girl? Kataba is amazing. Okay. I'm going for that Kasumi, is but I can tell Kataba is awesome. Can I have two best girls? Is that... Is that a thing? Okay, now I'm getting lost. This is... Wait. Now I'm... I have something. I'm feeling lost. chest gun boost oh <laughs> all right i can feel there it no match for us hell yes okay oh shit i'm so lost now I don't know how lost I am now. Haru with gun boost. Holy moly. Somewhere. Alright, let's work our way towards here we go. I think this is where we need to be. Oh! Oh, we made it through! Is that it though? It feels like there's more up ahead. up, dude? Inconceivable! How have you managed to make it this far? You are true. You truly are pests. Every time you think you've crushed them, they just come crawling back in. What was that? You bastard! I hope you're ready. We didn't appreciate that trap of yours. He's right. You didn't have any intention of letting us get past that maze in the first place. Ah, you were indeed correct. That is how things are supposed to be. You're not worthy of victory. Now, won't you just lie down and lose for me? This isn't an easy job, you know. That won't happen. Oh, that's too bad, but it seems I have no other choice. Yeah, okay, Mr. Mermaid, looking all fancy. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, he looks crazy. For sure. Snake King. Oh, Snake? No, he's a mermaid. He's definitely a mermaid. What did I give her again? Feel my Some passive thing. Yeah. I forgot. Here he comes. Mazionga. Persona. Let's try to find a weakness. Persona. Ravage them. No. Do it, girl! Do it! Okay. That's our queen. Nice. Do it. I love it. Beat him up. We know what want. Persona. Uh, he doesn't counter or, or absorb or anything. 
about against physical. Ooh, his attack is up. Persona! I don't like that. Don't like that. What about Persona? Nope. Persona! Okay. how things were on the members floor it's no surprise this isn't a fair game either and yet we still reach our goal come now let us go we have no more business here hmm. we'll have to go to another game if we want to win more points joker should we go back to the elevator let's explore some more i guess there was nothing else here that's fine Okay, now we need to go to the battle arena. Welcome to the battle arena, the infernal fighting ground where the embers of life grow, uh, glow bright. Oh, it's you guys. Our manager told us about you. Huh? Huh? The hell you guys... The hell you've been hearing about us? My, you're so quick to anger. Wonderful. This would be quite boring if that wasn't the case. Now allow me to confirm something before I begin explaining. Do you currently have 10,000 coins? Yes! Oh, yes we do! Oh, you sh have surely been busy. Very well then, allow me to explain this game to you. Here you'll prove your supremacy in a trio of fierce one-on-one -on -one battles. Then again, this is the pinnacle of our casino, the high limit floor. Normally our VIPs would prepare substitutes who fight to the death for their sake. The attending guests then bet coins on who they think will win. Here too? Ugh, this shit makes me sick. The entirety of this floor must be like that. Taking a little risk for a high return is truly the optimal business strategy. But can we even participate if we don't have a substitute? Hey! Hey, we didn't need one for the other game! The same probably applies in here too! As irritating as it may be, that is correct. Please participate. Registration will take place at the counter over there. Sign me up. Hello. Hello, governor. Ah, welcome. We'll be, you'll be participating in our stunning battle arena. Okay. Of course. Our teamwork's going to take this uh, down this arena of yours. Ah, now that won't do. This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles. Don't tell me. Correct. Only one can participate. You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. The entr entry fee for this event is 10,000 coins. However, if you manage to succeed in the trials, you'll be granted 10 times that. 100,000 coins. Wait, what? Cuts enough to get us through that bridge! Come on, we need to do this! How about this? Hmm, this feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would certainly ensure great danger. But failure to infiltrate this palace will be the end of us. So we don't got a choice. Very well. In that case, Joker should be the one to participate. We don't know what kind of enemies may appear, so his high level of adaptability will be vital here. Leave it to me. Yes. Leave it to me. Are you sure about this? You will have to fight alone. I'm the wild card. I'm the obvious choice. You dummies. But that's why Joker is the one doing it, right? I mean, I understand why. Just, just be careful, okay? Don't do anything reckless in there. Has your mind been made up? The battles will begin once you enter. Now then, shall you challenge the imposing battle arena? Mm -hmm. Oh, in that case, please head onward into the ring. The entry fee and appropriate prize total shall be calculated at the end of the game. Now then, prepare to know the true meaning of agony. <laughs> 
Only you'll be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering from the stands, so best of luck. You will not be able to retreat once you enter this room. Is that alright with you? I saved. We're good. one-on-one -on -one. this isn't one-on-one -on -one at all they're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning now then it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin ready set go i got this i don't remember what these guys are weak to though but avoid using wind and don't let your guard down persona okie doke do I have a uh, AOE? Fuck him! Go down! Is it my highest Yay, level? Joker, persona, you're looking cool. Persona! Oh, I can't do a. Uh... Oh, I can't. Come. Um, hey, can I can't even knock them down. Okay, this is fine. It's time. They don't Avoid reflect. Wind, oh, they're strong again. Let's go. Grab it, again. Nice one, Joker. You hit its weakness. No. Anything but that. Oh God. Oh my God. That hit yes. so many times. Okay. Time All right. We gotta combat. take him down in this one. Come. Or we could try healing. You, I have you. Okay, let me heal myself first. Okay, he didn't crit this time. Ah, uh, but he did. Okay, I didn't lose that much HP that time. Oh, see, two on two. That's right. Okay, power up. Okay, I kind of want to charge. All right. I'm going to take these guys out. Nice, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now you guys are going down. Go down. Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to. Oh! Rage! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Fuck your rules, we got the Taba. I was hoping the Onikagura would take him out. Wow, he really can't take a hit! The stupid Phantom Thief has won! You know, that's a little hard to say. I'm just going to call him the Phantom Dweeb from now on! The Phantom Dweeb. All of you betting on the house? The second round of contestants is arriving now! What? There are even more than before. How cowardly! There's nothing fair or honest about this! Quiet down in the peanut gallery! Now it's time to die in this blood-curdling battle! Okay. Now we don't want to use physical against it's these guys, I know that. We to lightning. Come. I want to heal up. Yeah. Right. Mediahan is a little bit expensive to use on just Joker. <laughs> I resist you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Alright, I need lightning though. I want lightning. Let's bring out 
Thunderbird. Thunderbird! Thunderbird is so freaking strong. I think you bet on the wrong side, buddy. What in the? Oh, snap. Yowza, that's a big one. Go, grind his bones to dust. Let the extreme third battle begin. Oh dear, it's for himself. It's time. No. Well, I'm not gonna know what this guy is weak against. It's probably not Zyodyne. You're mine. Oh, he's gonna use some physical attacks. Okay, this guy's strong against physical, and so is this guy. Mabufu Dine, he has Miragi Dine. He has Charge. I can decrease his attack as well. Alright. He's preparing. Should I block? Should I guard? How do I know when he is getting- I think he's gonna go. This <laughs> <laughs> Your puny attack did nothing! Something I wanna else. see what he does with- Okay, he doesn't counter physical or anything, so I think we're just gonna- Ravage them. Destroy him. What's wrong, scared? Come. His attack is up again. Let's try the Damn. ice. That's just as good damage as. Ooh, and it froze him. So we get a technical. This isn't it. Let's do Come it. Now. You're dead. Yeah. Once again. Justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. Congratulations. Here's your reward. 100,000 coins. You don't sound, sound oh, too enthusiastic. Oh, shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! Oh, shit! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. Yes. I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? Well, who else was gonna go? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Mm -hmm. Come now, we should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Our moment to shine. Um... If I go across the bridge, will I be passing the will seed? Somewhere. <laughs> this looks promising. And something? This is Will Seed. There he is! I'll be taking the This is This is Will Seed is just ahead. Sorry, but you'll be letting us through. Hold on, Queen. I'm getting the feeling that this one's gonna be a headache. We'll probably wanna be as ready as possible. I'm ready, I'm always ready. Let's go! 
Oh dear, guests here. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize, but this area is off limits to guests. Please take your leave. Let's do this. Oh, it's no problem for the manager's sister, though. You're the one who's get who's out of here. Dropkick. Just, uh, just leave it to my girls. All right. And that takes care of that. Let's move. All right, Joker. Grab it and get us out of here. I'm grabbing. Winner take all. Yep, and that's me. I'm the winner. Crystal of Envy. Do you have a moment? Uh, it took everything we have to collect these coins. Don't waste too much on prizes, all right? Okay, I have a thousand. I could oh my God. luck plus ten, but I don't have enough. What do I do? If I buy this, can I get enough? Can I get more coins? I'm just like ninety-five short. All right, I guess we'll have to get some more coins. Um. I don't need anything. I have leftovers. I can just eat those. Can I get some from these too? Oh! That's all I needed. Authenticating members card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that. Now let us through. It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. We did. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. Excuse you? What? What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious. We had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. She said she would let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. Y you know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? What? How could that be? Yeah, what? Wait, what? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Okay, but we only have a hundred thousand. Well, yes, but... For example, had we borrowed the max when we had ten thousand coins, we would have ended up with twenty thousand. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to four hundred and sixty thousand. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. Oh, yeah! He took that other card for the... T Takumi, whatever. I forgot about that. When he picked it up, I was like, 
This is gonna be important later. Yeah, Taro Tanaka. I was like, this is gonna be important for something later, but then I promptly forgot about it. You have another card? That's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together! <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. But, okay, keep up, Shadow Sai. She, he said we could borrow. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be! We're gonna catch you, man. Crow. It's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. As sharp as his beak on his mask. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Oh, you're having a lot of fun, aren't you, Ketchy? Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. I hope this guy stays on our side, because he's pretty scary. Yes, let's activate this damn bridge. You still don't like him? I do. There we go. Yeah. Hell yeah, we're almost there. We'd better be ready for whatever lies ahead. I'm ready. Aha! Infiltration route complete! It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. How on earth could you just simply barge in here? Elegance is necessary for victory as well, you know. I don't know. I think between uh, Akechi and Yusuke, we have plenty of elegance. Haru as well. <sighs> I entertained you with all of my games. We are oozing with elegance. This will be a game of life and death from now on. No matter who I face, I shall not lose. Sis. <laughs> Our infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai San's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kanashiro's was fake money. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. It could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. We're elegant as fuck. Hmm? What's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, it actually looks like there's a shape formed in the haziness. If I had to guess, I'd say Sis's treasure is a place notebook. Right. Her father was... Hmm. She probably thinks Dad died because the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is meaningless, and that there's no point in living a subservient life. Dad's death is even the reason she aspired to become a prosecutor, and grew so obsessed with winning. She 
she really loved him. Hmm. Sai-san's heart must be exhausted from living in such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. But that is exactly why we need to change his heart. Er, her heart. Yes, that it is. And now we've ascertained the location of the treasure for that gold. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? Yep. Okay. Okay, we'll be able to send the calling card from the real world now. Let's return to the real world. Alright. Got through yes. that infiltration yeah. route without a hitch. Now we can send the calling card. Okay. I am a bit tired. <sighs> I haven't got a chance to go buy a book or a DVD. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? I have no idea. It's someone who holds animosity towards us and can always stay one step ahead of our actions. Hmm, you're right. I can't think of a single person who fits that description. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Ren. Is it really gonna be our final one? I mean, come on. The uproar against the Phantom Thieves may be extending into politics. The cabinet's approval ratings hit rock bottom due to how they've dealt with the Phantom Thieves. With Representative Shido leading the criticism, many are starting to consider leaving the party. If the co-ruling party, the Liberal Co-Prosperity Party, splits, a snap diet election is, cer is certain. Man, they're having a falling out because of us? I really don't get politics. Sip. Yeah. Thanks for Futaba. You're welcome. Hmm? Did you see that they changed the questionnaire on the fan site again? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are innocent? It's funny that people make a big deal about it. Of course they're not innocent. They're wanted, so they'd be arrested on the spot. Well, thanks for the coffee. Yeah, thanks for nothing, assholes. Alright, well... I guess we could call Kawakami. Hey! Oh. Whoops. I just brewed coffee by myself. Okay, guess we're gonna brew coffee. Good morning. Ren, I was working late yesterday, so I'm tired today. Speaking of which... I trust you haven't forgotten about the deadline. I'm going to give it everything I have, for your sakes as well. Also, once the Phantom Thieves finish this final job, I don't think I'll be seeing you privately like this anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's just how it sounds. Once you've disbanded, everyone's going to be busy tracking down the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Until that happens, though, let's continue to work together. Now then, I'll be going. Yeah, okay. Just try to break us up. We're BFFs! Phantom Thieves forever! Phantom Thieves never oh, die! That's disappointing. I've been a teacher for 20 years now, but this has been the craziest near of my career. There were those incidents in April, then the Phantom Thieves, and the principal. <sighs> yes, as you young folk might say, the situation is indeed quite whack. Okay, Mr. Inui. You're not cool! Perhaps you're wondering why I use such hip terminology, hmm? Now then, I'm a Mia ah, let's The word see how you're doing. whack was originally part of a code used by ancient thieves. 
Can you tell me the meaning of the word whack in thieves can't? Uh, I'm a phantom thief, so I hope so. In e I, I want to say a share of stolen goods. Because I could just see him like, hey, yo, give me my piece of the whack, man. Yo, where's my whack? Yes? This is it. Yes! <laughs> Correct. You know a lot about this, do you? I dare say you must be pretty whack yourself. Excuse you? What did you just say? I'm joking, of course. Still, you must be quite diligent in your studies. Okay, Inui Sensei, not cool. Not cool. If today's youth are freely using thieves, can't to each other in broad daylight, then truly we live in whack times indeed. Okay, can you stop using that word? What do you think? Okay, let's go to our hideout. Okay. Oh yeah. All we got to do now is send the calling card. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. Catchy. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? Sai-san is a realist. Even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist, do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akachi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. <laughs> oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? Okay, I guess you're the boss now, Akechi. We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. Okay then. Huh? I guess that's it. Alright. Well, I guess we have free time. Let's go to the Gamer King. I don't remember what we had. We had to do something. Forgot what we were doing here. Hey! Shinya, the fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Futaba to do the hacking? Contact her. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Or I could start Haru. Wait, how? I didn't see her. Where's Haru? Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Ah, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is... is this for real? I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! No way! How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I am, aren't I? I'm charming. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. 
But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Proficient. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Ugh, no, not like that. This is verbal abuse. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. I'm trying to focus on my first shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. <sighs> That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. Alright, looks like you kinda got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal. I made a deal with Shinya. So how do I start Haru's... ...thing? Where do I go for Haru? Oh, we're back here. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. School Oh. Duh. It was on my phone, I missed it. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? A new vow. It should new vow, the tower persona. It allows you to knock down an enemy with a special shot once per infiltration. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. My kindness increased. Woo. Max rank again. Hey, I'm a Mia san. I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so sure. Cool. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in Gunabout. Bye! See you later! Bye! Next up, politics. Highly supported by his peers, Representative Masayoshi Shido is rumored to be forming a new party. If an election does happen, it seems Representative Shido's group will be in the eye of the storm. Hey! Sounds like there's going to be an election. You're still not old enough to vote yet, right? I'll just I take ain't this. voting for that asshole, that's for being sure. Alright! Hey! We did it! 150 hours. Now. Okay, we're looking for a Neko Shogun that has the skill Dakaja. Hmm? Oh, good. You're here. It would seem. I can sense it within you. A Neko Shogun with Dakaja. You're really getting the hang of this whole growth thing. <sighs> what's wrong? Uh, what's wrong, Justine? It is nothing vital. However, presiding over the growth of another feels almost nostalgic in a way. Do you feel the same, Caroline? What do you mean? I've n we've never taken care of someone like this before. You are not wrong about that. And yet, our duty to aid his rehabilita rehabilitation aside, observing his growth feels oddly familiar. Excuse me? Th 
That can't be right. The inmate's growth and this rehabilitation are the exact same thing. Hey, inmate! Hey, inmate! The growth you're getting from these tasks is helping with your rehabilitation, right? Uh, probably? See, Justine? They're the same. Is that not something we should judge for ourselves, though? Anyway, Justine, don't forget about our job. The duty we've been handed is all that matters. Don't think about anything else. Yes. I suppose you are correct. <sighs> I guess you're gonna keep worrying about this till the inmate finishes he re his re rehabilitation, huh, Justine? Look what you've done, inmate! Getting us all wrapped up in your fate! Ugh! Sorry, what the fuck did I do? Could it be? What's wrong? Nothing. But, I believe I am beginning to look forward to seeing whether the inmate can complete his tasks. You heard her! Don't disappoint us, inmate! I feel like my bond with Caroline and Justine. Justine is growing deeper. Alright, six, so we have four more of these requests to go. Right. We're more than halfway through with it. Okay, on to the next task. Justine? All right, lay it on me. What do you want? Farewell. <laughs> but I brought them the Lachesis the Lachesis with Tetraja. <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Well, that's another assignment done. Huh. All right, let's keep moving to the next task before things get all messy like last time. No difficult questions, Justine. Just give him his assignment. Yes. Understood. What? Huh? What's with you? You're not usually this cooperative. I have no intention of abandoning my duty, but I would like to know the truth of this situation. After all, we possess a mysterious list which seems to have foretold the current state of affairs. Who wrote it? Why do I recognize the penmanship? Why does observing growth feel nostalgic? And beyond that, what was the true intent of its creator? Yeah. I thought I said no difficult questions. To be honest, though, I have arrived at a hypothesis. What? What? You know the answer? We manage the inmate's power via spe several arcana, which symbolize the mystic nature of this world. In truth, the encounter we share with him is represented by the strength arcana. Strength represents great power, a mighty will, and the awakening of the unknown. Sounds about right. Caroline, in our interactions, has the inmate been the only one to have had something awaken in him? Perhaps therein lies the answer. But what's that supposed to mean? Ugh, damn it! Why do I feel so weird? Do I get my re uh, wait, I know I don't get a reward. Are you guys finished? Shut it, inmate! Can't you see we're in the middle of something? Hmm. Although, this ne next task is gonna be the eighth one. There aren't too many left on the list. You've come this far, inmate. I hope you see it through. If you do so, the answer will surely become clear. And, uh, you're more than just some random schmuck to us now. Oh! I've, I've been upgraded from random schmuck? Nice! You're the only one who can find the answer we're looking for. You got that, inmate? Rank seven. Okay, next. You've got to bring us one more persona before you get another reward. I see you brought us, heck, whatever, with Masakunda. See? You, you can managed do it. to do all three assignments, and you didn't once try to give up. Not bad. Not many tasks left. We might be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. We might get be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. <laughs> you know, thanks to you, I'm actually starting to look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> Your attitude has shifted quite considerably, Caroline. I see now that the harsh mask you wear during the fusion ritual is nothing more than a facade. What? Perhaps in your heart you have longed for the days the inmate would come to fuse the specified personas. 
<laughs> That's not true. And what about you, Justine? You've been awful chatty, chatty lately. <laughs> I suppose you are correct. I... I've never heard you laugh before, Justine. We have both clearly changed quite a bit recently. Perhaps my hypothesis is true after all. Yes. We have thought about... We have thought that if we were to complete the list, we would bring to light the intent of its creator. We have overseen the inmate, all the while considering the changes that have begun to appear within him. However, can it truly be said that the inmate is the only one who has changed? The completion of these tasks has also had a great impact on both my consciousness and my memories. No way! Are you trying to say the list isn't supposed to change the inmate, but rather, ourselves? <sighs> I have no proof of, it, proof of that. However, if this list represented the will of our master, why has it fallen into our hands and not remained in his? This has got to be some kind of joke. You're telling me somebody made it so they could change us? But why? Can I just have my reward? Hello? <laughs> uh, what's happening? I can hear a voice in my head. What? What's going on? Wait! I recognize this voice! Uh. <laughs> Caroline? What seems to be the matter? You're behaving quite abnormally. Does something trouble you? Uh, our apologies, sir. Is the inmate providing to be too horrible a subject for you? No, the fault does not lie with him. If you must reprimand anyone, let it be us. Caroline. I see. Very well. Continue onward with his rehabilitation. Our deepest apologies for that brief loss of composure. Now then, as you have completed three tasks, let us bestow upon you the next reward. We will now grant you access to the guillotine booster. Think of it as a way to increase the number of personas you can make with the group guillotine. Plus, now you can perform some extra strong fusions using five or six personas. Oh, yeah, not looking forward to doing all that. You should be able to figure it out with some effort, inmate. I mean, you've come this far, right? We expect that you will put its services to good use. Ugh, that's too many personas to fuse. It's so much work. It's so much busy work. All right. Hmm, so I guess we've changed, huh? That much is clear. Strength, the 11th Arcana, which nearly, near evenly splits the major 22. The awakening of the unknown, a solitary woman calmly coming to face a lion. Caroline, let us assign the inmate his last ta next task before we discuss this matter any further. If this list is meant to change us, that change must surely be important. Fine. All right, inmates, it's time for your new task. Oh, and your reward is going to be incredible, so you've got to do two tasks before you can have it. Listen well. Accordingly, these next two shall be the most difficult to have faced to this point. Yeah, they're probably like five and six personas, well. right? What? All right, let's get out of here. It is time, inmate. So, basically, we have some time to kill until the 18th. I know we want to focus on Akechi if we can. So we're just gonna be doing social li uh, links for a while. All right, let's go see it. my boy Akechi. <laughs> Perhaps it's not quite appropriate, but I confess, I'm a little excited for this. I rearranged my schedule a bit so I'd have time for all this business concerning Sai-san. It doesn't feel right to just leave our battles on hold. Speaking of which, come join me if you do wish. Do you want to play billiards again? Even if I only have a little time, I'd like to spend it with you. I expect you've improved since last time. If you're confident, I'll play using my right hand. With my knowledge, I think I can compete with Akechi's skills. Uh, don't forget I read that billiards book. And now I can do trick shots. <laughs> you certainly are determined. Let's see how you do. Hey, 
Billiards is such a fascinating game, don't you think? You can't simply strike the ball you're aiming for. You have to be indirect, but precise, to land it in the pocket. Yes, why it's so fun. Precisely. And the most interesting part is that it has so many parallels to a theoretical perfect crime. Also, you eliminate your target without ever directly connecting yourself to it. I don't suppose that rings any bells. Um. <laughs> what are you getting at? I'm sure I don't have to draw you a picture. The psychotic breakdown cases, even the criminals' changes of heart. Everything happening around us, every little inconsequential event, may simply be one ball striking another. Hmm. But there's no guarantee that the ball can be precisely controlled. And despite the player's best intentions, the ball may strike many unrelated obstacles in its path. Even then, do you still intend to play this game? I won't miss my shot. Not bad. Impressive. You win. How about this? That was quite a heated match. Shall we cool off in the evening breeze for a moment? You think Akechi has a crush on me? I think so too. Very <laughs> impressive. Even if it was my s with my self-imposed handicap, I'm impressed that you beat me. You become quite skilled. I couldn't let myself lose. I see. So we even share that perspective, do we? You truly are fascinating. Yes, you keep saying that. I'm fascinating. I get it. I get it. Remember when I said before that you and I are similar? We're both victims of unjust adults, and now we have the will and power to rise up against them. Yet I'm doing so as a detective, and you're acting as a phantom thief. Our stances couldn't be more different. But we're teammates now. For now, yes. But even that united front will soon end. And after that, everything will return to the way it was, no? Why not join me instead? All you'd have to do is abandon the teammates you have now. Oh, yeah, okay. Why don't you join me instead? All you have to do is just abandon all your friends and family that you've, you know, been through hell and back with. You know. Akechi's eyes are deadly serious. I need to give him a real answer. How about this? How about it? Uh, well, I know he likes the rival thing, so let's go with that. You're my rival. <laughs> you truly are intriguing. I agree. I think a relationship of equals suits us better than being co-conspirators anyways no matter what else may change. In any case, what you, just, what you just said carries great weight. Remember what you decided, and don't run from it, all right? Oh, was that important? <laughs> that said, as long as we're working together, you'll have my Leave strength. It to me. Rest assured, I'll do my part. You'll find me very useful indeed. I feel like my bond with the catchy is growing deeper. <laughs> Guys, I forgot, to, I forgot to do Chihaya's stuff. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. All right. Ah, that reminds me. I did say that if you ever beat me using my right hand, I'd face you with all my ability. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Good night, then. Well, then, farewell for now. Hey, it's me. Is it all right if we chat for a bit? You never cease to amaze me. It wasn't against my dominant hand, of course, but I still can't believe you beat me. Your competitive spirit definitely deserves praise. You really were terrible at first, but you caught up to me in no time. I have to ask, why do you get so competitive against me? Uh, we're rivals, aren't we? Uh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Neither of us can afford to lose, because we fight in service of our principles. And that is precisely why 
I cannot allow you to change. As you are now, as you think now, I cannot allow you to win over me. Well, perhaps that's a bit much. I'll let you go for now. Good night. Kechi's a little creepy now. Sometimes. I mean, he's a little creepy sometimes.